Today, in India alone, nearly 30 lakh fewer children die each year than they did three decades ago. And a major contributor to this success is vaccination. Vaccines have been a blessing to us for sure. They have steadily saved lives by preventing diseases like measles, diphtheria, pneumonia, and poliomyelitis, especially in countries like ours. Hello, I'm Ramesh Agarwal, a professor of pediatrics at Ames, New Delhi. And today we will discuss why vaccination remains one of the most powerful tools to protect our children. Think of diseases as enemies with deadly weapons. Vaccines are versions of those enemies, but they lack weapons. Therefore, they don't cause disease. But they train our immune system to recognize and neutralize the true enemies. And vaccines contain weakened or inactive viruses or bacteria. They are just enough to alert the body without causing any harm. And once trained, the body remembers it. So when the real infection strikes, it responds quickly and strongly. Vaccines, therefore, are not just medicines. They are master trainers, expert trainers for the body's defense system. Vaccines go through years of research and safety testing. Even after approval, they are carefully and continuously monitored. And most children do not have any side effects at all. Some may experience mild fever or some local swelling, which settles in a matter of day or two. Serious side effects are extremely rare, much rarer than the diseases we are preventing. India's national immunization program covers 12 life-threatening diseases like tuberculosis, measles, diphtheria, poliomyelitis, and hepatitis B. These vaccines are given from birth until 16 years of age at fixed intervals. It protects children right when they are at the highest risk of a disease. Therefore, it is important to take vaccine at the scheduled age. And also, pregnant women receive TD vaccine to prevent neonates uh, against tetanus. You can refer to this national immunization schedule on the screen. It is also provided in your MCP, Mother and Child Protection Card. We also have another schedule which is known as IAP schedule, which is often used in private practice. It includes some extra vaccines which may incur cost. These extra vaccines are optional. The government schedule which cover 12 diseases is sufficient for the practical purpose and provides essential protection. If you miss a dose, do not worry. There is no need to start everything. Just visit your health center and resume the vaccination schedule from where you left off. The child is still protected. Vaccines are completely free at government facilities. Uh, you can visit a small rural facility or a large urban hospital. Vaccines are available without any charges. Just report to your nearest health facility on time and you'll get the vaccine. You can use these two tools that can help you stay on track. One, the MCP card that provides schedule and record all the vaccine and it provides valuable guidance uh, on feeding, growth and development. This is a very valuable resource. Therefore, read it very carefully. The second tool is the UWIN app. Uh, this is an online um, uh, option that is available to you that helps you book appointments. It also gives you reminders for the next vaccine. And importantly, that it stores your record, the child's vaccination records digitally. And even if you move, uh, move cities or lose your MCP card, your, the child's record is still safe and accessible. You can simply go and uh, take your vaccines. 
five important key messages. One, vaccine saves life. Two, vaccines prepare the body to fight diseases. Three, they are safe and effective. And four, the government provides 12 essential vaccines totally free of cost. Five, use your MCP card and UV app to stay on record. Just to conclude, let's ensure every child is protected on time, every time. Vaccinate today for a healthier tomorrow. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you.